Hello and welcome to the Destination It podcast. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer and welcome if this is your first time checking in. It's been a few weeks. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I thought I was going to record them like every week or every two weeks at least, but I've just had a lot going on recently and I wanted this to be like a fun thing that I did that was just, you know, something to do and a way to share what I was knitting on and I didn't want it to be like something that I felt pressured to do or something that became like a chore. So anytime that I was like, oh, like I really should record a podcast, I just like don't feel like it, but I should, I was like, no, I should just like put it off because then it's going to become like something that I don't want to do. And today I was like, this seems like a fun thing to do because it's really, it's really rainy and gross outside. And I was like, I'm going to stay inside and knit anyways. And this will like make me pull out all my projects and it'll be a little more entertaining than just watching Netflix all day. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm in a different area of my apartment. Um, my roommates have moved out, or at least one of them completely moved out, the other one's just at home for the weekend. So I have the apartment to myself, and I figured I might as well take advantage of it. So getting into the actual podcast content. Oh, I should mention that my nose is not bleeding. Um, I fell down last week, and my, like, my nose is really bruised. It looks pretty good right now, but I did skin up my face, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> it just looks a little rough on camera. But, so now, podcast content. I do not have any finished objects. I didn't really get that much knitting done in the past little while. I just had a lot of other things going on or like haven't really felt the knitting mojo. So I just didn't get anything done. But I'll show you what I do have done. Um, I do have one sock completed. If you follow me on Instagram, oh, I should mention that my Instagram is destination knit. And so is my Ravelry if you want to find me there. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I started this on a Monday. And I had already finished. I started this Monday night, like it was it's a toe up sock. And I did a fish lips, keel, fish lips kiss heel for the first time on Tuesday morning. And then I finished it to the cuff Tuesday night and I started the toe that same day. And I think I did about maybe two more stripes or something since that Tuesday. And this was two weeks ago, I think, three weeks ago. It's been a while, so I'm gonna say two weeks ago. But I was like really on a roll with these socks. I, like I could have had them all done in three days and then my just like my knitting mojo went out the window so anyways they're really cute these this is um regia and it's co color cotton color tutti frutti 2 and this is the pomegranate colorway and these are just really fun um i've made other socks out of this too and um i've made the look at the watermelon colorway and my mom really likes them. She is, she's like super allergic to wool. And so she makes all of her stuff out of cotton. And she has a couple pairs. Like, I know she has an apple pair. And maybe, maybe one more, maybe two more. But right now she's making a sweater. And she's doing like the sock arm sleeve sweater. And you do like the body in a solid color. And then the arms are in a self striping. And so she's using like one of these tutti frutti colors. I think like dragon fruit or something like that. She got enough yarn to make two because she was like, if I'm gonna be stuck at home, like I need to have some sweater yarn. So that's what she's doing. In case anyone's wondering, my mom did not teach me how to knit, but we do knit together and we do all kinds of fun crafts. We go to like a knit night together and stuff like that. Even though like we live in different towns, we meet in the middle and knit together, which is very cute, but Yes, my, my grandmother, her mom, taught me how to knit. So, next project, you might remember these. Oh, I should say that this isn't like a pattern that I'm using. I'm feeling all over the place today. It's been a while. But this isn't a pattern that I'm using. It's um, just a toe-up sock. Um, if you want to know the toe that I used, it's the um, airport sock pattern that I have published on Ravelry. And then this is the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. I tried a different heel this time. This is the first time I ever used it. It seems to fit really nicely. I really like it. It was pretty easy and I don't know. I might do more. So my second work in progress is the Spruce Fingerless Mitts. 
They have a nice little cable texture running across the front. And I'm knitting them out of Cascade Heritage Solids. I think that's what it's called. And it's like, it's the navy, whatever that is. But this is the left one. And they're really comfortable. They actually like fit pretty well. I think I mentioned in the last episode that it's like a little long on my pinky finger, but I have really short fingers. So it might just be a me problem, but I'd rather it be too long than too short because like your fingers are gonna get cold. And right now I can still use all of them, assuming I have another mitten on. Like I can still use my fingers, but they would stay warmer, I think, with it being longer. So I have to knit the second one, obviously, so it's a pair. And I only have like two rows done on the cuff, so it's not worth sharing really, but maybe I'll work on that today. I do like the pattern. It's pretty easy. I think it's a, the pattern repeat is pretty long. I think it's like 16 rows or 18 rows, but it would be memori memorizable. You would be able to memorize it if you tried. I just like haven't worked on it consistently, if that makes sense. So if you remember, if you watched last episode, I talked about how I, like I'm trying to knit fingerless mitts, a cowl, and a hat out of this yarn because I had a sweater's quantity and then I just like couldn't find a sweater that I wanted. And also this really dark yarn's hard to knit with and if I was gonna have to knit a sweater, it's gonna take a long time and even longer if I can only knit in really bright daylight. So I decided to just knit like a winter accessory set kind of thing. So I did cast on the cowl that I wanted let me take out the stitch marker so it doesn't fall. Okay. Don't want to lose any stitches. But this is... I cannot get this straight. This is the Round and Round Cal by the Crazy Sock Lady. It has kind of um, like a zigzag pattern. You might not be able to see it really well because of the... There you go. It's blown out a lot, but you can see the pattern on it. It's hard to see with the dark yarn and it's a solid color, but I think it gives it something that's more interesting than it just being like a like a solid stockinette or something like that. But I started this because I was going to do the one week knitting challenge that Julianne does. She's Julianne Knitter on Instagram and she does like a one week knitting challenge and for May it was to knit whatever you wanted in March and April she did socks, like knit a pair of socks in a week. And I did do it in April, but in May she just had like knit anything you want in a week. And so I was like, I'm gonna cast on this and I think I can finish it in time. And I worked on it pretty steadily for, like, I guess I casted it on on Sunday and I worked on it pretty, like I worked on it, you know, and knit like a few inches every day until Wednesday. And then I just like completely lost my mojo. That was when I like was working on these socks too and was like, really into it. I knitted this much of a cow uh, sock in a quarter and then it just disappeared and sorry I just shook the table but and then all my knitting mojo disappeared and I haven't worked on it since. I think I knit one pattern repeat which is two rows so no. But anyways this is the round and round cow by the crazy sock lady and it's really it's a really easy pattern repeat to memorize it's only two rows one of the rows is a knit round so you only have to memorize one pattern row and I don't know I think it's really cute it's gonna stretch out a little bit more this way when I block it which will be good because I don't want anything that's too choky but also if it's gonna keep your neck warm it has to be pretty close to you so maybe I'll work on that too I have lots of things to be working on but this isn't like a necessity because obviously it's not going to cool down for a while. It's like finally starting to get warm here. And for those who don't know, I mentioned it in a previous podcast, I think, but I'm moving to Nevada. So it's going to be a lot warmer there, especially for like a lot longer. I know it gets cold in the desert, but like at night and stuff, but for the majority of the summer, it's significantly hotter and it'll stay hotter in the fall. So it's not something I... Like the cow and the mittens and the hat and stuff isn't something I, like, I need done right now. Not that I guess any knitting needs to be done, but I think it does. So, the most exciting thing, in my opinion, that I'm working on is this. 
It is a test knit for Annie of Boho Chic Fiber Co. And let me get all my ends stuffed in there. And it is a little sweater. I haven't bunched up on tiny needles, but this is this is the yoke of it. And it's got five stripes. And I'm like really close to separating for the sleeves. I'm about like half an inch away or so. And then it'll be easier to show. But I didn't want to put it on bigger needles just to show it. And then, I don't know, I guess I could have. Because then I could have taken pictures to put on Instagram that would have been a little nicer and stuff too. But anyways, there's a little bit of short row shaping in the back that makes the back a little bit bigger. But it's a test knit, so it's not out right now. And I have to have it done by June 9th, which I think is doable. We'll see. Today's like the, today's the 20th of May. I got it, I got the pattern over probably about a month ago. And I could have started it sooner, but I didn't have yarn to like start it right away. So I had to order yarn and then, you know, you have to wait for it to come. And postage has been like a little late lately because everyone's ordering stuff online. So I had to wait until I got, I got these mini skeins that made up this rainbow. There was another one that was yellow, but I didn't really like it. So I stuck with these five and it's from the Sheepy Shire on Etsy and it's the autumnal rainbow. It's really nice. The Etsy dyer was really nice, like all good communication and the yarns like really great. It's like a, I've, it's got a yak in it and I've never used yarn with that before. It's really soft. I hope it like washes well, but so far it's worked out pretty nicely. And then the gray is Cascade Heritage Solids in the silver gray colorway. It's like five something. It's got a 27 in there. That's not really helpful, but it's, it's silver gray. And I think it looks nice. I wanted something that was like gonna be fun and colorful, but I'm not a fun, colorful person. So I wanted it to be like pretty neutral. And I think the, like this is a pretty like neutral rainbow. And then the gray kind of keeps it toned down. So the rest of the, the rest of the sweater is in gray and it's a short sleeve top. So I think I can get it done in time. Cause I like right now I'm, a, I'm about to separate for the sleeves. And then I think you only knit a couple rows on the sleeves cause they're not very long. And then I have to knit the body. So I think it's doable. Um, I'm not sure when the pattern's releasing, but if I have to have it done by June 9th, it should be done around then. If you want to see uh, like her, like Annie's um, pictures, you should look on Instagram at Boho Chic Fiber Co. And you can see what she did for it. She did um, like random colors, like they weren't a rainbow, but I thought a rainbow would be cute. So yeah. In terms of acquisitions, I did get this, the yarn to make this and the yarn to make these socks because I went to the local knitting store that my mom and I meet at and I got the yarn for this and the gray yarn there. And what else did I get? I guess I got the Etsy yarn shipped to me. And if you remember from the last episode, I ordered some Holst yarn, Holst yarn from Denmark and it has still not gotten here. I ordered it in the middle of April and I've been tracking it and it's in Chicago or it was in Chicago earlier in the week or last week. I think on the 12th it said it was in Chicago. So that was last week. Um, I guess it's coming. It's just taking a really long time. I guess they have to be like really cautious when you're ordering stuff from overseas and make sure to quarantine it for a certain amount of time. And I'm sure it's a big deal. And it's not a necessity cause it's yarn obviously, but I sure do wish I had it. <laughs> I'm ready to cast on something new. I only have four um, works in progress. I never have that many works in progress at a time. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a goal of casting off something this week. Today's Wednesday. So I think by the next podcast episode, I'm going to have some finished object. And on my sweater, I need to have at least like half the body done. I think that's doable. I'm going out of town the week this weekend, but there's so much knitting time in between. 
what else am I doing? It's quarantine, so. I don't really have any recommendations for you guys. I haven't been doing a whole lot. Um, things have been really boring. I've been listening to music more. Um, if you have a Spotify account, their like Discover Weekly and like the recommended for you and stuff is actually really good sometimes. So check that out. I like used to be like, oh, it doesn't know what I want, but Spotify is really good at telling you what you want to listen to. Let's see. I think that's it. I hope you guys are getting a lot of knitting done and staying safe and enjoying the quarantine time. I know it's like, it's hard and it's stressful, but you know, hopefully there's not going to be like another time in your life where you get to spend months at home and do nothing but self-care and watch all the shows you've been wanting to watch and knit all the things you've been wanting to knitting. So I'm trying to look at it from like a positive viewpoint, but it's hard sometimes and it gets very boring. So I wish you guys the best. Happy knitting.